With that, I am proud to say that the bill has been signed. And with the stroke of a pen, it's a done deal. Governor Nikki Haley signed Senate Bill 897 into law Thursday afternoon. It removes the Confederate flag from State House grounds and takes it to the Confederate relic room. So we will bring it down with dignity and we will make sure that it is put in its rightful place. Many watched in great anticipation as Haley signed the bill. And it became a symbol for anti-segregation and it's the end of that era, hopefully the beginning of a new equality. Two weeks ago, Governor Haley said it was time for the flag to come down following the killings of nine African Americans at a Charleston church. Senate members passed the bill easily Tuesday while the House approved it only after 14 hours of debate that stretched into the wee hours of Thursday morning. Loud chants and cheers could be heard from protesters outside the State House after the bill was signed. I'm extremely happy. It's finally a beautiful day in South Carolina. It's taken a while, but they did the right thing. While others, like Alan Howell of Charlotte, are dismayed. And the flag represents history of the Civil War and the people of the South hating big government and high taxes. But the flag had nothing to do with hating uh, people or slavery. Uh, slavery was an issue way before the Civil War.